Here's Papa. Hello, 45 Elva Charlie Papa channel. And today we're gonna to shoot a couple of pistol caliber carbines. Um, I've got the Sub 2000 here. Now, last time you saw it on the channel, it was in its stock configuration, basically with just the, the muzzle brake on it. I have since added this little field sport uh, red dot on here. We're gonna try that out, get it sighted in, see what we think about that. It's a cheap little red dot, but uh, me and this rifle have a love-hate relationship, so I don't like to spend a whole lot of money on it. Um, I've also got the new cheek pad here uh, from Tandem Cross. It fits okay. I'm not, uh, not thrilled with exactly how it fits, but it's okay. Um, and then inside here um, from, uh, oh. Good old what's her name? Yeah, what's her name? Uh, inside here we've got the... Uh, Reduce the recoil reducing pad in here to help uh, mitigate some of the recoil. So this is in 40 Smith and Wesson. So we'll go ahead and shoot this today. Get this sighted in. See what we think. And then over here, ta-da! We have the Nefarious Original 995 High Point Carbine in nine millimeter. The Planet uh, of the Apes gun. The Planet of the Apes gun. This is the original. As it is factory stock. The only thing I've done is add a sight mark uh, red dot to it. That has not been shot yet, so I haven't even zeroed it. Uh, this is the very first time I'm out with it. I haven't shot it before, and I have some serious concerns about it. I think the reason the guy may have sold it to me for $180 was that it's a single shot. Uh, I've noticed that the, it doesn't uh, cock until the uh, bolt is all the way back. And I it, mean all the way back in full recoil. It's, it's fairly typical high point. Is so. it? Well, I, if it short cycles at all, it's not going to uh, yep. uh, pick, it's not gonna it's cock, not gonna cock the yep. hammer. So I don't know. Uh, if so, we'll try and fix that. I, it also has probably the worst trigger I've experienced in a long time. Oh, yeah. It's a Nerf gun trigger. It is a Nerf gun trigger. No <laughs> doubt about it. So uh, I guess without further ado, yeah, we'll we'll let you have the honors. Oh, That's a new I had gun the to you. Oh my goodness! Well, let's turn on the red dot. Okay. Before we go any further, since we have no idea where it's shooting, let's take a look and see whether we can find any uh, shots on target. I probably don't need 45 power here at the short range we're at. There we go, that'll yeah, be fine. Come on, show me some holes. I see no holes on the target whatsoever. Not a single one. All right, would you stand in back of me and tell me if you see them hitting left, right, yep. low, high? You shooting at the top one or the bottom the one? The bottom one. So they're probably not shooting high or I'd be in the... Uh... Looks like it's way right, huh? Yeah, way right. Okay. Well, while he's adjusting that, let's go ahead and take a few, uh, few shots here with the Sub 2000. Well, a typical sub 2000, it's spreading them everywhere. I got one bullseye. If any patterns developing here. Well, 
as with typical with this gun, we're about a five gallon bucket size group at uh, what, 25 yards here. Maybe. We're in the neighborhood. Yeah, but it's a bad neighborhood. Oh, you know what? They work better when you got bullets in them. That looks better. At least the dust is rising behind the target. Oh yeah, there's four hits high. Did you come back right a couple of clicks and come down? Hey, it's grouping though. Yeah. It's something of a group. Something like a group. Doesn't lock back. Nope. Doesn't lock open after the last shot. We'll see. You yeah, haven't it moved a whole lot either. It hasn't moved a lot? No. Didn't come it's down all right? Same general area. All right. Make bold sight adjustments is what you're telling me. My sight adjustments weren't bold enough. All right, take a look at the, uh, the targets here. That's the target with the Sub-2000. As you can see why I'm having a hard time figuring out where I need to adjust my red dot. Um, as for the, the high, point, high point, this was the first group here. Yeah. And then we wandered over to here. Then we came on down to here. And now we're somewhere in here. So it looks like we still need to come up a little bit. But, uh, you know... I, We'll see what his grouping ability is once we actually get it somewhere near the center of the target. Yeah. Well, party on, Garth. Party on, Garth. <laughs> <laughs> the way that goes. Party on, Wayne. <laughs> party on, Garth. All right, we are back from the range, and just kind of a, a report here. Uh, I was disappointed with the sub two thousand. Well, it was uh, it was obviously not a really successful day at the range. No, it, it wasn't. Um, Sub so 2000 runs, um, it throws lead down range consistently, just don't know where, where it's going to throw it. Throw it. it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a positive thing necessarily. I mean, we would, of course, everybody tries to be on, on YouTube, tries to be positive. Yeah. And uh, I yeah. don't have a lot of positive things I can think of to say about the Sub 2000. Oh, no. It's, uh, and, and maybe it's the 40, maybe the 9 is better. I don't know. But the one I have. It's real picky about ammo. It it just doesn't matter. I think I've had some 168 grain uh, Remington that shot decent out of it, but that's the only thing I think I've ever found. Well, yeah, I, I can't say that the Sub 2000 impressed me at all. I mean, no. I've seen it fail at a zombie shoot. Yeah. I've seen it fail here. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, at zombie shoots where you're shooting knockdowns. Yeah. They, they wouldn't. A lot of your misses might be coming yeah, not, be because, not because of the uh, you're shooting, but because it's really just throwing guys, yeah. things in that big a pattern. I mean, we're shooting at 25 yards, and you couldn't always stay oh, yeah. on the I paper. Was, I was like this. Yeah, that's uh, that's it, just disappointing. I, I think it's going to go down the road. You think I think, so? well, I think, I, it, I think it's going to find that uh, you know that um, boat accident in the sky. You know, I, I've got to say that uh, if, if this was a sub 2000 versus uh, high point, the mm -hmm. high point one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hate to say that. I, I didn't even take it out of the car. I mean, it's. <laughs> yeah, it's just terrible. Uh, as far as the high point was concerned, of course, that was the very first time I was shooting it. We had some decent uh, uh, groups, 
when we were shooting Factory. Yep. The, as soon as I went over to the hand loads, mm -hmm. it went to hell, and we were all out there blaming the site, thinking maybe the site was bad, yeah, so we put your site on it, and it didn't do any better, didn't and I didn't have any more factory, but... And I don't know if the heat had anything to do, it was hot outside. Oh, it was hot, my goodness, you could hardly touch that gun after it sat in the sun for a while, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, my feeling on it was there's probably nothing wrong with that site, it was fine for the beginning, you know, unless it just went bad. Yeah. But it was fine at the beginning. And Although you were finding more, you were finding it, uh, you have your center dot and other dots around it. So. Yeah, there's there, there was some halo effect there and I don't know exactly don't, what that was what about. The, that is. Um, because I don't get that when I turn it on in here. Mm -hmm. So anyway, whatever whatever it was, it was. It was just not a really great day at the range. Any uh, day at the range is a good day at the range. Well, I, I, but we didn't the results the, weren't. The results weren't what we wanted exactly. to accomplish. And uh, I, I do have to say that my one big complaint, the only time I had a failure with the uh, high point was when I didn't suit the magazine. Yeah. And the magazine came out and we had a stove pipe. Yeah. Um, and two rounds trying to get into the chamber. But that was my fault, not the guns. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we had 100% yeah. reliability. Um, so that impressed me some. For a cheap gun, I mean, for what it is, and for the price you pay for it, mm -hmm. it's a bargain. And who knows how much yours has been shot? It's a used one. Oh so. yeah, it's, and it's a, the oldest one. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's like a five-digit serial number or something. It's, yeah. it's really a low number. So uh, I think uh, uh, there's lots of positives uh, there, but there's you know some some things I was a little disappointed in, but I don't know what it was caused by. Uh, as I said, it could be the reloads. Uh, all I had was 124 grain bullets, and it's. Maybe it shoots the lighter ones better. It I don't know. Be. I don't know. Well, would that be, that's something we'll have to go out and you'll have to go out and test yeah. more and see what it like. You know, this is this was the first time go out there and try it. Yeah. I didn't have the problem I thought I was going to have, yeah. and that was uh, it wasn't going to cock because it has to go all the way back. The mm -hmm. bolt has to really go all the way back. Yeah, it's got to go all the way back. Before it sets the set. trigger, uh, I thought we'd have that trouble. We didn't have that problem with anything. Yeah. So. Uh, I, I've got to say, I'd rather own my high point than your uh, sub 2000. <laughs> I'd rather own your high point than your sub 2000. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry, sub 2000 guys and, and, and manufacturers. It was just just reporting on, on the results we on got. The results, and it's you know, one rifle. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. It's I'm not putting any more money into it. I think it's just going to go down the road, and we'll try something different. Yeah. Anybody uh, interested in buying a 10 millimeter high point? Uh, 40, 40, 40, 40 S and W type yeah. point. Uh, yeah, it just it just hasn't performed since day one, and no. nothing you do to it seems to make it. No, and I think I spent a little less on the uh, the Ruger PC carbine at nine millimeter, mm -hmm. and that thing shoots lights out. Yeah, it, it's it's, it's a accurate, shooter. and it's uh, and it doesn't care what ammo I put in. But let's get back to the the one real, true complaint I have about the high point, and that's the trigger. Yeah, it was it was difficult to shoot groups. Mainly because that trigger has got a a long, long pull. Mm -hmm. It's spongy, and you don't get a, a real positive feeling that you're at the break point. So you're pulling this trigger, and it's, and it's stacking, and it's stacking, and it's stacking, and it goes boom. And it doesn't seem to be repeatable. It, it seems like every shot is an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> so that doesn't help with the... Uh, uh, grouping either no, but and being so hard to pull before it goes off as you're shaking a little bit um, Yeah, I think that tr trigger defeats an awful lot of uh, the potential in that yeah And gun. you know the newer gun yeah, the newer ones. I think maybe the triggers a little bit better on but, well Yeah, you know, who G-Man thinks this, his trigger is pretty good. Yeah, so. who, who, who thinks? Uh, you know, who knows how much has been used how worn that series abused and abused and everything else so yeah because yeah, it, as I said, it, it's a real early one. Mm -hmm. It's not what they're selling now. So, uh, uh, but it will give us some chance to take a look at it and see if we can improve it any. Yeah, there you go. And so uh, you know, look for videos maybe in the future. Maybe we'll yeah. do some uh, some gunsmithing videos with it. And, yeah. Think we know a gunsmith that could work on? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's, we can it's find a little some modern for the guy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> usually I work with the guns. You know. At a hundred plus, yeah, it's like Cub fans. You know, the first hundred years of being losers and not being in the, even being in the World Series, it's just to uh, to uh, sort out 
the real fans from the from the summer soldiers, you know? And, you know, after 108 years, you win one. Yeah. Well, the people who were there for the win, they were Cub fans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it takes 100 years just to sort out uh, the, all the bugs. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, this has been 45 Elva Charlie Papa. We went out and shot the, these carbines today. And, and this uh, is the singing old gunsmith, or the old singing the old, gunsmith. I, I don't know. We I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Some, one time it's one, <laughs> next time it's the other. Yeah, sometimes you have the crutch in this hand, and sometimes you have it in this hand. <laughs> You've seen that movie. I've seen that movie, yeah, yes. Old John Wayne and, uh, and uh, what's his face? Uh, Kirk Douglas? Yeah. No, uh, Kirk uh, Douglas. No, somebody else. Oh, <laughs> Mitchum, Bob Mitch, Mitchum. Bob Mitchum, okay. There you go. Uh, well, this has been a fun video. Uh, we'll see you next time. And I am out, and... I'm going to be out, too, and I probably should sing you Happy Trails just to, just to keep up, but I'm not going to this time. Oh, oh the hell I won't. <laughs> Happy Trails to you until we meet again. again. Or you turn us in or turn us off. Or... <laughs>